when he turned his back from shoulder to shoulder it looked like as wide as the tailgate of a truck and this darkness literal darkness just came like all over just just all over me except where i was standing this thing let out the most blood curdling mind blowing spine tingling scream that you've ever heard in your life and it cut through me like a knife and I knew that they were going to take me. I just knew it. And then the next thing I can remember is being levitated. Well, when I look in there, uh, I see two big eyes staring back at me. Hello and welcome. You're listening to The Bump Podcast, a place for the believers of the unexplained, monsters, and paranormal. Join us, and we'll go face-to-face -face with what goes bump in the night. Uh, we cross the cross the water and then get to the other side, go see a waterfall, take a picture, you know, and hang out there. And then we're like, all right, well, it's going to start getting dark soon. Um, and it was a new moon, so it was going to be completely pitch black that night. So we start to come back over the creek. Uh, Joe goes first and he crosses, no problem. And then I go to cross the creek and I step on the stones and I get to the middle and I hold on to the branch. And I'm standing in the creek on the stone and I just black out. Um, I don't remember anything from this. So what I'm going to tell you is what Joe told me happened. So Joe told me that I stood there. I let go of the branch that I was holding to steady myself. And I just stood there and I put my hands down by my side and just looked straight down. And he goes, Jesse, Jesse come on. And he's reaching out to me and he's like, come on, come on. You got to get across the, you got to get across the river. Come on. And I looked up at him and I said, I don't feel good. And he goes, oh no, 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 come on, come on. And I'm completely blacked out at this point. And he's like, you got to get over the river. You got to get over the river. And I just stood there. And then I, was, I looked at him and I went, no, no. And then he just grabs me and pulls me. So he gets me to the other side and I go down. I throw up. Um, I come to, I'm like, what, 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 what just happened? What just happened? I'm sick. I threw up. He's like, you, you, you just like went out. You just, you were gone. And I was like, okay. Okay. And I was like, I'm really sick. I don't feel good. I was just so ill. And he's like, we got to get you out of here. Let's get you some water. I had eaten. Um, I had plenty of water. I had my camel back. I had been drinking water. I was not hydrated. I had eaten earlier. Um, I was fine. I was 100% fine until I got in the middle of that river. And I just got completely, I, I just, I, I left, I blacked out. And then I, he said that I wasn't even there. He's looking at my eyes and I wasn't even there. Um, so the further I got away from that river, uh, I, I felt better and better. I was like, okay, all right, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's fine. I'm okay. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. Okay, let's go. Let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Well, we're walking down the trail and we look down at one part of the trail. And like I said, there's been nobody out here this entire time. I look down and in the middle of the trail where we had been a, a couple hours earlier, there was sticks arranged in a pattern that looked like symbols. Um, I don't want to say runes, but it, they, they were akin to runes. Um, they weren't runes because I know what runes look like, but it was symbols and sticks laid out in a line across our path. 